Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Tweet Tweet Jam 2. Uh, basically, this is a game jam that challenges developers to make an entire game in 560 characters of code. That's the length of two tweets on Twitter. Um, no sprites or external libraries are allowed. All of your games must, all of your game art must fit in your code, so you can use symbols, but they need to work in your editor and have to be included in a tweet. So it's a very challenging game jam and quite different. I'm playing all of the games that are entered for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further. And if you like this sort of content, consider checking me out on various social media platforms and then supporting me on Patreon so I can continue to make more. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting, and subscribing. Next. We're playing color turn. Yep, screw it zero. I don't know how to turn them. Okay. It said next because it's Pico 8. Um, I'm not fast enough to make two squares be the right color. There we go. Okay. Did we make it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a challenge. Oh, that was correct. Gosh, darn it. Especially as you can't control, like, which way the square is turning. So if you miss it by one, it's, it's just, like, go all the way around. Ah. I like the game, though. Oh, that was... Oh, that was right. Ah, next. We're playing California Bag, which I think is just like hacky sack to this character, and you want to keep your hacky sack in the air for as long as possible. Never actually played hacky sack in real life. My dad did, though. There's some like pictures of him. Oh no. Not afraid of the birds. Cool. Some pictures of him by a big bonfire playing hacky sack. Oh, but that was off the screen. No fair. Oh, I guess you can go like that. Can we kick it? Because I've been trying to like hit it with my head. Yeah, we can kick it as well. Oh, I thought maybe the birds were going to uh, steal my hacky sack. It's a neat little game. I like that we do have oversized feet that can give us a few extra like, squares room. Next. We're playing Serpent's Gate. Alright. Threshold. Wilderness. North lies the dungeon gate shaped like a serpent's head. The, ja the jaws are shut. Right, I was hoping it would tell me the controls because I don't ever know the controls for this. Go north. Go north. First opening Serpent Gate. It seems to be locked. Look at gate. The surface nodules are widened, the jaws are shut. Go through nostrils. Talk. Okay. South. You can't go that way. Go east. Go west. Touch. Nothing I expected. I'd never know what the commands are for this, so I just kind of bumble through. It's supposed to be really short. Fiction, maybe this is it. Maybe just go and see the locked jaw. I don't know. But if you like these sort of games, here's one. Next. We're playing too slow. You want to cut through squares. But not cut through where there's not squares. Does that make sense? You want to click when you're on the square, but not click in the black space, and you want to not let 10 squares be on the screen. This is a pretty simple little game. I'm just guessing it gets faster and faster until there's 10 spawning at once. But we're pretty good. So. 
Oh, sometimes it's where that's where it's smaller. Yeah, different sizes. Now we're getting fast. Oh, I missed! Lame. I'm doing some experiments. Oh, I was hoping if you hold down the mouse or whatever, maybe it could do a big slice. Because I felt like I was slicing before, maybe I was just not scoring. Next. We're playing jumper. Ah, we went off the screen. Okay. Don't touch the top or the bottom. 200 points and we save. Uh, when you lose, use the enter menu. I don't know what the enter... Oh, okay. Right. Right, this is a challenging game. This takes a lot more patience than I normally have. Your jumps are, like, really high. I can probably go to this one. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Nope. Ah, oh, we nearly had a save as well. That's pretty cool, actually, trying not to hit the top. Because normally you're trying to get to the top as fast as possible. So it's an interesting, like, twist. Because you have to sort of stay low. And use your jumps to not hit platforms. That would be too high. Oh, I was trying to hit that one, but not the one above it. Okay, next. <laughs> We're playing Quest 2. I lost my 588 cats. Can you find them? Yeah, I can find them. They're all of these. This is the first game in a while to have sound effects. This is an intense number of cats to lose. And I like how like, much we bounce off the wall. that are trying to escape. Perfect. That was a cute little game. I like how that was the number of like, that was somewhat like close to the number of characters like that you were allowed to use in this tweet. Tweets. Next. We're playing Holy Mother of Dragons. I guess we're just supposed to burn everyone. I mean, you are a dragon after all, I guess. This is a Game of Thrones reference. I don't know if she burns everyone, though. The Khaleesi or whatever. Can you tell I've watched, like, some of the first season of Games of Thrones, and that's about it? But I'm supposed to storm the king's land, riding the dragon, and kill as many as possible with your dragon flame. I mean, we are killing a lot with our dragon flame. That person almost seemed unkillable. So that's our high score, and then we're just trying again to get a better score. Some of you guys are off the edge of the cart, the window, which is not fair. Yeah, I think we'll beat our score this time, because we were a lot better equipped at the start. Yeah, definitely. Hmm, next. We're playing Beach 560. What is this ball? I don't know what we're meant to do, but I'm liking these waves. The general look of stuff. Sands changing and everything. And just trying to bounce high. This is pretty cute. Oh, we can't touch the rocks. Okay. By the rocks, I mean the ever-changing sand below us. Didn't realize. So we want to be careful. Unsure if it's better to, like, jump high in the air or stay on the Water, I feel like the air is the safest place. Yeah, pretty simple but cute toy. Oh, next. We're playing Road Thirst. 
feel like I'm supposed to go over these lines, but I don't know. Am I supposed to avoid them though? Now I feel like avoiding them makes me go slower, so we should probably not avoid them. This is pretty neat. I like the graphics that are my car, as that looks pretty cool. Since I can only use characters for graphics. Making an entire car out of just some characters on your keyboard is pretty impressive. Oh, I'm going slow again. Oh. That's it. Next. We're playing Tower Hop, which is super challenging because you're moving so much. You don't want to hit the bottom of the screen. I'm never good at these types. That beginning bit was a fluke. So I'm always worried about hitting the bottom, and I'm so worried that I'm like, eh, enemies. Oh, okay. And I kind of feel like I slide down the wall so fast that I have to just keep jumping to stay alive. That enemies look basically in that wall. I like the, I don't know, tail on the main circle. I think that's pretty cool. I'm just not very good at this game. Okay, next. <laughs> 